Hello, Sarah. It is Thursday, August 21st. Um, and I was like thinking today, so my roommate went to Walmart and she came home and she had bought men's deodorant, which I totally support because women's deodorant does nothing. And I was thinking about a video that someone posted the other day about like gender marketing and it was super interesting. I mean, it makes sense from a marketing standpoint to like segregate your market and like try to aim it towards a certain crowd of people so that you increase your sales and it works like it clearly works um but then i was thinking of like all the things that i pay more for if i buy the female version like deodorant or like body wash or shampoo or conditioner like any of these like things that are aimed towards me as a female that i could buy cheaper in the men's section plus female deodorant really irritates me because it like smells good, but it doesn't do anything. Like what about me being a female means that I don't sweat or that I don't like do any manual labor where I would, would sweat. And like, I pay like to buy female deodorant is like two bucks more than buying male deodorant. And it doesn't actually work. At least not for me. Like I could just not wear deodorant and it would be the same, but I don't understand this. Most I'm just curious if you buy any products that are like aimed at males because they're the same as female products, uh, but cheaper, like razors and shaving cream and stuff like that. Like the men's stuff is so much cheaper and it usually works better. But I would just be curious if you have any suggestions for things that you buy not the female version of, uh, or if anyone else wants to comment below and let me know because I'm always looking to save money and find things that actually do what they're supposed to do. Anyway, you know, I just, that's what I've been thinking about. That and applying for jobs. I've been job searching lately. It's not fun. Hopefully I will get something that's not terrible though because my job now is sort of getting to the point where it's terrible. And there's this new girl that I don't really like very much. And I should just get over it and like, accept that she works there and I don't have to like her, but we have to be friendly. But it's really hard to be friendly because her personality rubs me the wrong way. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. We should be friends in real life. I have been meaning to text you about going to lunch and I just keep like spacing it and school's been really busy because I'm in midterms and stuff. But we should be friends in real life. Keep being authentically awesome.